All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're going to talk about how to create and upload your own custom emojis to your Discord voice chat server or text server or whatever you use it for. There's a lot of different people with a load of different communities, and a number of people have asked me, Larry, how do you go about creating your own emojis and then uploading them to Discord? So the simple answer is, if you have proper admin privileges on a server, you can upload whatever image that you want to Discord, and it'll automatically resize it for you, so that it's the proper dimensions and everything, so that people can immediately start using it. And you access your little list of custom emojis, you can have up to 50 of them per server, by going to your little server name up here in the corner, clicking the down arrow to open up the server settings, Click on that button and find your way right here to the emoji tab. And here it basically just tells you that you can upload up to 50 custom emoji that anyone can use on this server. And the only rules are the emoji names must be at least two characters long and they can only contain either alphabetical characters like, uh, you know, ABCs or numbers and maybe underscores if you really want. And then if I just go up to upload and I go into my sample memes folder, I can upload pretty much any image I want and it'll automatically resize it. So if we just grab this troll face image and click OK, it'll just upload that immediately to the server. And then here's the emoji and this is what it'll look like actual size for when we use it on the server. It'll tell me what the file name was when I uploaded it and I can change that if I want to trolling around. And it'll also tell me who on my server uploaded it, in this case, me. And this can be important for a number of ways. Uh, I had a server that I was on where one of their temporary admins, their little brother, got a hold of their Discord account because they left their computer unlocked, and he started to upload pornography to the emoji. And technically speaking, like, Discord could care if you uploaded images like that, but that was against the server rules and people got kind of spicy about it. So you can see who is doing stuff. You can temporarily remove their privileges or ban them by simply looking at this list. And that's really all you have to do in order to upload an emoji to your server. And then you can just go down here, click on the emoji button, and it'll appear right here listed under that server name. So I can just click on the trolling around image and there's our little troll face. Now it's worth noting that these images are very small. I think they get to be Oh, uh, what is that? Like maybe 20, 30 pixels by 20, 30 pixels. It's a little square and it definitely doesn't offer you a lot of space to do anything intricate. But anything that you can kind of preview at a small image that looks pretty good, you could probably use that. Now, in the event that you want to create your own custom emoji, all you have to do is have a selection of images that you want to work from. And then you just have to crop them to some type of square dimension and then upload them to Discord. Again, Discord takes all of the most common file types and converts them so that they're easily used as an emoji. And if you happen to have the premium Discord service where you pay a monthly subscription for Discord, you'll also be able to use your custom emoji wherever you want on any server, anywhere in the, on Discord, basically. So if we wanted to create an image, we'll just have to start in Photoshop and I'll open up a new document I'll just entitle this sweet emoji and I'll make this like a small square of 250 pixels by about 250. This is more space than we need, but it's just big enough for my purposes so I can actually see what I'm working on. And then I'll leave the base resolution at 72 pixels per inch. That's basically the screen density. Most computer screens that you're going to run into that aren't like eight super HD 4K monitors will be about 72 pixels per inch and then I'll hit create. So here's our little square image that we're gonna work with, and I'm gonna grab one of these images to turn into a reaction image. And let's start with the chicken. This is Hey Hey the Chicken from Moana, and he's a stupid chicken, and he does stupid things. So I'll just make this our like derp image for use on the server. And I want this image to be just large enough that it's mostly Hey Hey's face, but not too large that I cut off too many details and people can't see what this character is anymore. That's looking actually pretty decent right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and click 
shift control s to save as and we're going to open this up into the temp ps folder where i keep all my temporary photoshop files i'm going to open up the memes i'm going to say this as the sweet emoji hey hey because i don't know how they spell that name on moana and i'm going to open up the save as type i'm going to find the jpeg file type because jpegs are small they don't take up a lot of space and they're really easy to upload to places like Discord. I'm gonna click on save, and then I'm gonna make this a very small image because it doesn't have to be a very large size. So I'm gonna dump the image quality down to about four, which will make it only about 24 kilobytes or so. And then I'm gonna click okay. So now I can go back to my Discord server, go back to my server settings, find the emoji tab, and then I can upload another emoji. And I'll pick the sweet emoji hey hey edition. And that'll very quickly get uploaded because it's tiny. And we'll just call that hey hey. And now that's usable on our little server. And that's basically all you gotta do. And you can have up to 50 of these per server. So, I mean, there's lots of stuff that Discord allows you to do. But for the random plain Jane folks like myself, and probably most of you folks at home, this is what you get. You get 50 slots. They get really small and sometimes hard to see. So be careful with how small they end up being because they can end up looking a little bit derpy. So that's it. That's all you gotta do. Go out and make your awesome emoji. You can use Photoshop to make your own custom emoji. You can make, uh, you can use like MS Paint, whatever image editor that you want to use. Most of them are capable of cropping down an image so that it's smaller or that it's perfectly square and then you can easily upload them to Discord without them getting smushed or stretched or anything weird happening, which has been known to occur because Discord is technically still a beta product. So that'll be it for this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe, everybody. I've been your host, Larry, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.